Reward for honesty. Long time ago, Gatu lived in a city with his poor parents. He studied in second standard. Along with studies, he was very fond of pencils of different designs and colorful erasers too. By watching other students having different kinds of erasers and pencils, he also wished to have those with him. Mom, like other students, I want colorful pencils and erasers. But due to lack of money, his parents always refused him. Son, pencils and erasers are too expensive and we don't have that much money with us. Therefore, now Gattu stopped asking his parents for pencil and eraser. But he constantly kept thinking about it. One day, even I will have many wonderful pencils and erasers. Like this, many days passed. One day, while returning from school, on the back road of his school, he saw three different colored pencils and three different colored erasers too. Oh wow! These pencils and erasers are so beautiful! Saying this, he picked them up. Wow! The fragrance from this rubber is nice! But whose are these? He looked around here and there, but he found no one. There's nobody here. I think I should keep these with me. Thinking this, he put all of them in his bag and returned home. During evening, while doing his homework, he remembered. I have those new pencils and aromatic erasers too. Today, I will complete my homework with them. He took out those pencils and erasers from his bag and started doing his homework. And suddenly, his mother came over there. Gattu, what are you doing? Mom, I'm doing my school homework with these pencils and aromatic eraser. But who gave you this pencil and eraser? Mom? When I was returning back from school, on the back road of school, I found three pencils and three erasers. And you kept all of them? Yes, mom. This is very wrong, Gattu. You shouldn't have picked them up, son. But mom, there was nobody around. I'm sure while returning from school, they must have fallen from someone's bag. You better give them to the principal tomorrow. But mom, these are extremely nice. I always wanted these kinds of pencil and erasers. Got to. Greed can land anyone in trouble, you know. So we should be honest always. And if these kind of pencil and erasers are in your destiny, then sooner or later you will have them anyhow. On his mother's explanation, Got to understood. As you say, mom. Next day, along with those pencils and erasers, Gattu went to the principal's room and he said to the principal, Principal, sir, I found these pencils and erasers in the back road at the school. Please keep them and give these to whoever they belong to. Very nice, Gattu. I appreciate your honesty. Everyone should be as honest as you are. Gattu was delighted on hearing principal's words and went from there. Principal called the peon and said, Go to each and every class and tell everybody that someone found three beautiful pencils and three aromatic erasers. He has deposited them with me. Therefore, whoever they belong to shall come and collect them from me quickly. Peon did the same. When Pintu, who was classmate of Gattu, got to know about this, he thought, those are my pencils and erasers. I shall go right now and collect them from principal, sir. He came out of the class and headed towards principal's room. While on his way to the principal's room, he thought, I lost all hopes of getting back my pencils and erasers. But look how easily I'm about to get them back. Thinking this, he went to the principal's room. Principal, sir, those are my pencils and erasers. All right, Pintu. Take your pencils and erasers back. On seeing his lost pencil and erasers, Pintu became greedy and he thought, If I'm getting my pencils and erasers back, then why should I take only three pencils and erasers? I shall take five pencils and erasers. And he said to the principal, Principal, sir, these are only three pencils and three razors. 
whereas I lost five pencils and five erasers. What? Yes, Principal Sir, I have been cheated. On hearing this, Principal became very angry. Immediately, he called the peon. Raju, call Gattu in my office quickly. Peon called Gattu quickly and Principal asked him. Gattu, how many pencils and erasers you found? Sir, I found three pencils and three erasers. But Pintu is saying that he lost five pencils and five erasers. So where are the remaining two pencils and erasers? I do not have any idea, sir. Whatever I found, I gave it to you. And then Pintu said, Sir, I'm sure he is lying. He must have kept the remaining pencils and erasers with him. No, sir. I'm telling you the truth. And if I was supposed to steal pencils and erasers, then I would have kept them all with me. Why would I return you three pencils and erasers? How come we know how you did all this? The principal asked them to keep quiet and said, Gattu is saying it right. If he had to keep those pencils and erasers, then he wouldn't have returned any of those. He would have kept all of them. But sir, my pencils and erasers. Pintu, you lost five pencils and erasers. This means that the pencils and erasers which Gattu found don't belong to you. And since no one still came to claim these pencils and erasers, therefore, being happy with Gattu's honesty, all these three pencils and erasers I'm giving now to Gattu. Gattu was delighted on hearing this. He stepped forward and collected all the three pencils and erasers. Thank you, sir. Whereas Pintu was saddened by seeing all this, because he knew that in front of him his pencils and erasers were being given to someone else. And he also knew that by telling the truth, now he will be punished severely by the principal. Therefore, he chose to keep quiet at the moment. Oh God, out of greed, what have I done? And this way, Gattu got a reward for his honesty and Pintu got punished for his greed. So children, with this story, we learn that we should never be greedy. If you are liking our videos, then please like them, comment on them and subscribe them. Keep going.